the nature of what is happening is happening to us as a species. It's happening to us as a body of humanity. It's called life. We are showing up as life, as the animating power of this human being that's moving through consciousness, thinking thoughts. We're alive. And we're free. There's a primal scientific fact of our existence. We feel as we are knowing our aliveness. We feel ourselves, I feel myself, drawing on the largeness of the being that I am. I'm drawing on the largeness of being that I came from. We have to let it in, meaning we have to let the spiritual, the awareness of the spiritual, the power of the spiritual, the transforming nature of it, the creative power of it, enter us. So we have to let it in. And we have to let it all the way in. All the way in. From the very top of uh, us, the crown of our head to the tips of our toes, all the way in. That means something more than having ideas about it, believing in it, saying prayers about it, meditating about it, going to a course or a workshop, reading a book. It means letting it in for real. All the way in. Because only when it comes all the way in can the second part happen, which is letting it out. That the imperative of my life is to give my gift. And I believe the imperative of your life is to give your gift. And it doesn't matter what anybody else is doing and what you think about it or anything else. And if you live at Sunrise Ranch, what you think of Sunrise Ranch is absolutely irrelevant. You have to give your gift. If you give your gift, you live. If you do not give your gift, you die. It's true for any human being, any place. It is all about giving our gift because that gift is our birth into the world. And it's our contribution to the collective birth. And that's all that matters. There's all kinds of brilliance to be born through our minds. All kinds of awareness to be born into the world, all kinds of sight. But we can't open up or we can't let out that brilliance unless we let it in. This planet is our body. But we have to be born out through the biological and psychological and cultural into the larger sphere so that our collective presence, the presence of love, is embracing the planet and has union with the planet so that our presence is in the planet and is expressing itself through the planet. And we are fulfilled if there's truly to be a spiritual birth. We have to let it be on its own terms. We have to let it in truly and let it out.